you supportive of both of these prospective nominees to the Fed board? Well, I'm surely supportive of Steve Moore. I think he's just wonderful. Uh, he's a political journalist in this area for many, many years, and he's known to everyone. That's probably why a lot of them think him is too political. But he would make a great Federal Reserve board member. I know Herman Cain quite well as well, but not in the context of his monetary policy or his economics per se. Uh, I knew him in terms of his presidential run, and in fact, I think uh, I was partly to blame or responsible for the 999, if you remember, when he ran in 2012. Oh, we remember. Uh, because I did Jerry Brown's flat tax, which was 13 percent on two things. He combined that with a fair tax and made it 999. But Steve Moore is eminently qualified to be on the Federal Reserve Board, and uh, I think it would be a great choice for the president, and I hope the Senate confirms him. Kathy, what's your view on these two potential picks? Well, I I have questions of whether both are qualified, but I think even if they were, um, the fact that these seem to be politically motivated choices is problematic. It politicizes the Fed. Uh, and as you said, so far the markets haven't reacted, but I think if they made it through the nomination process uh, and confirmed by the Senate, we may have a different reaction by the markets. Define exactly what you mean by political in this sense. Well, we, we have heard from President Trump that he's been highly critical of the Federal Reserve, particularly Fed Chair Powell, for raising rates. They raised rates four times last year. Uh, so now he's calling for them not only to go on hold, which they have, and they've become very dovish, uh, but he's even going so far to say that they should cut rates and, and start quantitative easing again, similar to 2008. So nominating these two um, People, they've advocated that the Fed has been too tight. They've also been highly critical of the Fed. So it seems to be in keeping with what Trump is looking at. I don't know that he looked at their qualifications very closely. Um, it's just that the fact that they're in favor of what he's advocating, which is easier monetary policy to pump up the economy. I mean, Art, that, uh, that's the yeah. concern here, right? The, Fed, the, the White House, President Trump has called for a 50 basis point interest rate cut and quantitative easing. We have not found a single economist who says that this is an economy that needs that kind of crisis era emergency policy. He is now injecting two voting members, if he gets his way and the Senate approves it, onto the Fed board. Is, is that not problematic? Well, let me just say this. I've never known a president to nominate someone he doesn't like and doesn't want to be on the Fed board. It makes no sense. I was in the White House with Richard Nixon uh, back in 1970-72, and there were all sorts of pressure put on Arthur Burns to get him to change monetary policy. The, the president and the White House and the administration have always been very interested in Fed policy. And of course, it's something that uh, they would do. Now, I've known lots of members of the Federal Reserve Board for a lot of years. All of them, or most of them, really good, fine people. But all of them are very political. That's what the Fed Board does, is they look at the politics, they look at the economics, and they make judgments as to what they think should be done. And Steve Moore and Herman Cain, I don't see as any difference from them, except you just happen to know who they are because they're such public figures. But they would be no different than any other member. Alan Blinder was on the Fed, a very political person. Lots of people have been, I mean, Ben Bernanke, and you can go through Janet Yellen. All of these people are very political, but in the nicest way possible. They're concerned about the economy, and they should be qualified to be able to make decisions. And these two, I think, are just as fine. Kathy, to that point, uh, surely all members of the Fed board, uh, past and present, have political views. They vote in one direction or another, but when it comes to the day job, they're professional and they uh, assess right. the economy based on, on facts. Are you suggesting that you, you think Kane and Moore would not do that? I think that's, that would be the concern. Um, and I, I would say that it's more than what, what? I just believe, right? It's based, how on, the, based on what evidence? I think it, it would also be the market perception. And, and, you know, the others obviously did hold positions in different administrations. But when you look at Janet Yellen, she had a very um, stellar career and deep as an economist in, in different functions, academia. Yeah. Uh, same with, with uh, Bernanke as well. So these were already tried and true and more traditional economists, and there was just less concern that they would be politically I mean, uh, biased. That... I, I, I mean, and also, Art, I mean, the difference here, I, I get your point that, you know, the presidents always appoint political nominees, but... Some, one of these nominees, Herman Cain, ran a PAC supporting, explicitly supporting President Trump's policies. And another wrote a book explicitly supporting President Trump's economics called Trumponomics. I mean, that's taking it a step farther than just being a Democrat or a Republican. 
I don't know if you remember who the co-author was of that book, Trumponomics, but I was the co-author of it. So <laughs> I, know. I know Steve I know, very, very well. You're not but up the, for nomination here. No, no, and I'm not going to be. By the way, don't worry about that. But the, but it's no problem having that and having views and having strong views. I mean, Janet Yellen's a great economist. She's a professor. She's all that. But she hasn't run businesses or that. But Herman Cain ran a pizza business, which is a serious business. But I don't want all pizza business leaders in there. I really don't. I think we need diversity of the Fed board. And I think the two views here by Steve Moore and Herman Cain are great contributions to this board. And it in no way detracts from the rest of the board members. It in no way detracts from this idea that they're academics. I mean, I'm a Yale graduate, PhD, Stanford. Uh, Georgie Akerloff married Janet Yellen, one of my classmates. They're fine, fine people, and they deserve to be on the board. And so do Herman Cain and Steve Moore. They're, they just provide diversity of views, and, you know, they get along with people as well. They're not going to sit there and have a revolution going on and doing all that stuff. They're going to work it out with them and have the arguments, have the discussions, and come up, I think, with a lot better policy for the country.